baby. Go back, baby. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Go back, baby. Baby, what could it the Paris? How is that I went to the Paris? Yo, what's good, everybody? This is Hyphy, and I want to show you how I made the remix, aka Father DMW featuring Eva Appio. Welcome to the party. <laughs> so, I downloaded the video from their, from a YouTube video of their live. I downloaded their live video basically, and I converted the audio. And you must know that I had to watch for hours different videos of their live because I needed to get the best um, usable samples out of the life to turn into a song so the greatest boost for the old remix was the fact that um father dmw was already trying to make a song out of the live which is baby welcome to the party i went to the party i did my now so you must know these things were not arranged it was really scattered all over the life so i had to like keep watching different lives and stuff but this one gave me a boost so all it, what i had to do for the hook for this one was like I had to like first of all bring different parts of the life that had the same song i had to bring them together then i had to like cut them out to fit into a particular tempo and i chose 140 bpm i probably chose something else before now but i i finally settled to 140 bpm because that's the bpm of my beat i already had this beat before i heard their watch their live <laughs> Cause I normally make beats in park, so I had many beats that could probably fit into any song if I want them to. So I had um this particular Baby, welcome to the party. I went to the the party. I did my now. Baby, welcome to the So I put on my metronome just to demonstrate that it's fit into a particular tempo. That was the most challenging part of the whole life, apart from having to like watch it for hours over and over again to see the best part I should use. The next challenging part was like to fit into a particular tempo. Once I did that for the hook, the next part was, was to bring Eva Apio in for the intro. <laughs> so I felt like um, a laugh sounded like um, some laugh you hear in an original UK drill beat. So I just felt like putting that one there. Baby, welcome to the party. And that sounded like a very good intro. It was already studio ready to me. Baby, welcome to the party. Baby, welcome to the party. I went to the party. I did I my now. So this was the hook to me. Then after I chopped that into one hook, I had to look for verses. So my idea for the verse was like, I tried to make it packed, but because I couldn't achieve a good enough vocal sample to put inside this particular remix. So I made sure the beats I used was going to supplement for lack of content for the verses because I actually used a different beat to this before a more interesting beat in my opinion at that point but the beat didn't have enough dynamics to like fill up the verses so so the dynamics I was talking about was the fact that this 808 was going from left to right and like supplementing with the lack of much lyrics and stuff in the verses so i just chopped the same thing and made made it like chop before it's completed just to give it bounce so all through this whole thing what i was really going for was just to bounce just make everybody bounce and i didn't have any freaking idea that it was going to be reposted by then but I really aimed at making everybody hear it and laugh at it and like just laugh and like distract people from the but getting them to see it and react to it I was really fulfilled so basically that's how I did that and the mixing what I did was like okay let me show you what I did for the mixing so normally I have experience in mixing so this was like not that hard to me because I've made some very bad vocals that were sent to me so this one was even kind of clean compared to some what some artists really want me to achieve with some bad takes and I don't mean that to diss anyone I'm just saying like the condition of some recording sessions are worse than what I got from this live in terms of like quality so this is why I used to mix nectar and I do some of my complicated issue. I don't want to go into details right here. 
because of the length of the video it will be kind of boring and stuff so this is it without a mix <laughs> So basically it sounds like noise and all the background noise was there so I did my magic and that's pretty much it about it I enjoyed myself I spent a lot of hours watching their video more than I did actually making the song but it was easy and the next thing I mastered it and I'm going to my it was a live where I mastered it.